Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use grid column to control spacing. Um, so up to this point, all the properties that we have discussed are for grid containers. The grid column property is the first one for use on the grid items themselves. The hypothetical horizontal and vertical lines that create the grid are referred to as lines. These lines are numbered starting with one at the top left corner of the grid and move right for the columns and down for the rows, counting upward. This is what it looks like for a three by three grid. And there's here, they've just got a very simple grid where they've got four lines um, going horizontal and vertical, and one are called row lines and one are called column lines. To control the amount of columns an item will consume, you can use grid column property to con con uh, conjunction, in conjunction with the line numbers you want the item to start and stop at. Here's an example, grid, column, one, and then a division symbol, and then a three. This will make the item start at the first vertical line of the grid on the left and span to the third line of the grid, consuming two columns. So that means it would the item would start on the first vertical line of the grid and left and span to the third item. Does that mean that it would go from here to three, so it would cover this whole space? Well, we want to make the item <clears throat> with the class item 5. So here they've already separated it out for us. Consume the last two columns of the grid. We'll make it so we start at the first one. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to say grid column, and we want to set this to consume the last two. Start. One, two like that. And so we're looking at item five, it's the pale green one. So it's this guy. We want to make it so that it consumes less. Item five should have a grid column property which results in the div with the item five consuming the last two columns of the grid. Hmm. Item five. Okay, so we're playing with the pale green, this guy right here. We want it to be consuming the last two items. Okay, so I think that that's what they want, because now we want it to consume two spaces. If we run the tests, we see that passes. Okay, cool. What happens if we made it four? It would just cover the whole space. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I gotta say, I'm not completely understanding this. Anyways, this is how you pass the test. I'm sure that this will become more apparent as to why it's useful in the future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.